Hey, this is Delta Dan from build5.9s.com, and today we're going to be deploying and configuring the Azure Kung Fu VM. One of the hardest things to do when you get started with Azure is to configure a machine to talk to it properly. So we built this one-click VM for you. The first step that we need to do is actually gather the IP address for our local machine. We're going to use this to configure a network security group to make sure that hackers can't get into it. So as you can see here, I went to IP Chicken, grabbed my IP address, and I went back to the article where there's a button that says Deploy to Azure, or you can actually open the GitHub repo where Chris Peachman and I did the development on this one-click deployment. So if we scroll down here and you click on Deploy to Azure, we're going to be taken over to the Azure portal. In the Azure portal, we'll have a couple of quick configurations we need to make. Here, I'm going to go ahead and create a resource group called Azure Kung Fu VM. I'm going to put in my username and password. This will be a secret for me. And then we'll need to grab that IP and we'll configure the network security group down in this admin source IP address box. Once we've done this, we'll get started with the deployment, which will take about 20 minutes. In the meantime, you can check out some of the other articles on build59s.com. Okay, so it looks like we have a successful deployment here of our Azure Kung Fu VM. And if we look in the resource group, I see the various components that make that up, like the uh, virtual machine, the network security group. If we take a look at this network security group, I want to really quick look at 3389 RDP rule and just make sure that it's configured with my local IP address, which it is. So now I know that only my can um, RDP over to this virtual machine, which is really important to keep it secure. If we take a look at this VM, obviously we have our public IP address that was assigned and um, I can see that it's got four vCPUs and 16 gig of RAM. You're really going to need something like this in order to have an admin machine out in Azure and uh, have it function uh, properly, not be really slow. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. So if I clicked on this connect button, this is going to download an RDP file to my local laptop. Uh, and by doing that, I'm able to uh, very easily connect over uh, through the internet to this virtual machine. So I'm going to click this don't ask again button on this dialog and be prompted for my username and password. And of course, mine's Delta Dan. I put in my password here. And this should take just a second to get connected. Don't want this dialog anymore again either. So Go ahead and click yes to that. Now, uh, obviously we're gonna be logging into a machine for the first time, so we'll have lots of configurations to do. And that's really the second step and parts of this video. So now what I'm gonna do is open up Edge and get back out to build59s.com and find that Azure Kung Fu article again. And we'll move on to the second piece. And here we're gonna configure Windows subsystem for Linux and install Ubuntu. So we've tried to make this really easy for you. This can be a little bit complicated. We've put the shortcut install Ubuntu right on the desktop. You can go ahead and click that and we'll launch this. And this will take a few minutes to configure Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so when the install is done, we'll have to do a couple little quick configs. I'm going to go ahead and give it a username. So Delta Dan, of course, my trusty password. And with my password set up, my Windows subsystem for Linux is configured. And we'll want to go ahead and do a quick sudo apt-get update. So we'll get all the latest security patches and things like that. All right, now I'm all updated. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually install the Azure CLI into our Ubuntu instance. So back on the article, we've got a command here. Just gonna grab this and copy it and we'll paste it back into that terminal. Okay, so now the AZ CLI is installed, and when I run AZ, I can see all the commands are available to me. Of course, the most important one is going to be AZ login. So we'll type AZ space login, and this will take us out to the Azure login page. After you put in your credentials, then you will get authenticated into Azure, and I can run a quick command here, AZ VM list, to actually validate that I can see my virtual machines in my subscription, which I can here, of course, so I'm good to go. With that, I'm going to go ahead and close the CLI prompt and open up Visual Studio Code. So first we're gonna open a new terminal and this will open a terminal window as well as install the remote WSL extension which will allow us to use code with our WSL instance. Down in this terminal window, we're going to click here and select the default shell. In the Azure Kung Fu Toolkit, we use Bash. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And then when we open a new terminal window, we'll get WSL and our AZVM list command will work again. 
So next I'm going to right click on this gear and open up extensions and we're going to start installing some of the Visual Studio extensions that we're going to use to do administration on Windows. And this Azure Tools is one of the most critical ones. Uh, it installs many different extension packs into your Visual Studio code including the AZCLI tools, Docker, App Service, ARM Manager, there's many out there. Next up, we're going to install the add-in for PowerShell. The Kongvu VM has the PowerShell command list for Azure installed. We can open a PowerShell window, type in connect-az account, and we'll get a login prompt to get logged into Azure. After I'm logged in, I can run a quick get az VM, and we'll see the virtual machines in my subscription. And with that, we're done. The Azure Kung Fu VM is up and running. Go ahead and check out more articles over at Bill59s.com and you can follow me on Twitter at Delta Dan.